Hey, Scott, it's me. I just wanted to make sure you guys don't need anything. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna stop by. I'll see you soon. Hey. You're worried about Scott. Yeah. So am I. Since when? Oh, come on, Marissa. Scott and I have gone head to head, but he's my cousin. He still is a Chandler. JR, why don't you just tell me what you really want? And these were on your porch. Yeah. Oh, the bids for the casinos. Well, you're not wasting any time. Yeah, well, Ricky killed my husband to stop him from selling. I'm just honoring my husband's wishes. Kendall? I want to, um, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about, about Ricky. I want you to know he will never, ever be your father or Ian's, okay? Mommy found out that Ricky is a very bad man. I was hoping there wouldn't be any more complications. You know what, why don't you go play with your brother, okay? Go have fun! Oh, well, um, I think he understood. I'm sure it'll take a while, but I think he'll, he'll get it. Bianca, what's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine. What do you do? You're always doing so much for everyone. Even when they don't deserve it. Scott does deserve it. That was a dig at myself. Not Scott. When I got sick, you were an angel to me. Not that I'll ever come close to anything like that. But I could try. All right. Thank you. Honestly, you just... What I went through with Ricky is nothing compared to what you went through. Pretending to be in love with the man who murdered your husband yeah, well, we're kin women. Protecting the people we love, that's that's what we do. We're stuck with it. Come here. Please call me if you need anything, okay? Please. You know I will. All right. You know, actually, I'm going to walk out with you. I want to, uh... I want to get these casino bids over to Griffin, have him take a look. Once we get the funds for that, he can actually, uh... pay back the hospital for the drugs that he took. I owe him so much. And more. Well, for... Sometimes it takes a while to see what's staring you smack in the face. You know what I mean? Like the right person. Like an amazing woman like Marissa. You're worried about her? She's acting as if this whole thing with Ricky Torres was no big deal. Can you talk to her? See if you can't get her to take it easy. Let other people help her. I'll see what I can do. You know, she's really starting to come around. Yeah. I really think she's ready to let me back in. Bianca! Hi. 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 I, I just came to see how you're doing. JR says that he's taking good care of you. Is that a good thing? If I set limits. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that, that night I might have had one or two moments of panic. Which I'm actually a little bit embarrassed about. Oh, please. What we went through with Ricky was really traumatic. I mean, the man killed two people. Zach and Diana Holden. 
It's still bringing back memories of Michael Cambius. Yeah, that must be really hard. I mean, seeing Ricky carrying you unconscious like that, that image still gives me chills. Oh, well, um, if my being here is, is reminding you of everything that happened, I don't, I don't want to make things any harder for you. No, it reminds me of how strong I can be. What we could do together. Uh, that, that is one way of looking at it. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens when you're tied in a closet together. No. No, it's more than that. I can... You saved my life that day. I have no doubt about it. We saved each other. You think that I was being the brave one, but... Knowing you and the kind of person that you are, knowing that we were in it together, it gave me the push that I needed. Yeah. Uh, well, if, I, if I know, if I ever need someone to kick a closet door in for me, I know who to call. You better. I should go. You get some rest. Okay, just call me. You promise? I promise. Hey. You working again? Uh, the hospital just called. Some important board meeting I have to attend. Oh. What? Well, you said that, you know, maybe we would do something today, and but it's totally cool. I mean, you have to work, and you should go. It's, I understand. Huh? You're disappointed, are you? I've already notified. You know everything. <laughs> Don't you, Bianca? I was hoping there wouldn't be any more complications. Right away somewhere like some hidden treasure, am I right? isn't it? You wanting to do something with me? Yeah, I guess it is. So we could do something later? If that's something that you'd like? What are you up to? <laughs> I'm not up to nothing. What, what, no pressure, no plans? No, this is the new and improved J.R. Chandler. And that takes some getting used to. You said you wanted to be independent. You said you wanted your own life, not having me make any rules. I'm just trying to respect that. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Go do what you gotta do. I got, I got things I have to do too, so. Go do them. Okay. <laughs> she was disappointed. And that's a very good thing. Bianca, what are you doing with David's phone? I just bumped into him. Why are you yelling at him? I wasn't yelling. I was uh, negotiating. Negotiating? Negotiating what? Erica has written me a letter of recommendation to give to the hospital board. Are you kidding me? Mom, why would you oh, ever... I'm sorry. I I've got another phone call, okay? I I'll talk to you later. Bye. Please stop bothering her. <sighs> That's not what I was doing. What, calling her? Harassing her? Wow, that's a lot to, um, to draw from a 30-second conversation. Besides, even if I was being slightly pushy with your mother, I'm pretty sure she could handle herself. Usually, yes. She could slap you down with one hand while putting lipstick on with the other, but she was just kidnapped. She's had a rough time. So I'm telling you, leave her alone. Your mother has assured me that she's doing just fine. 
which leads me to believe that perhaps there may be something else that's bothering you. What are you talking about? I'm aware of what happened with Ricky Torres. You and Marissa must have been terrified. Now, I tried calling her, but, well, you know that story. You have a visitor yeah. in the main lobby. Dr. How is she? A visitor in the main lobby. Marissa's great. She's amazing, actually. Is she talking to anyone? Is she seeking professional help? Look, I don't want to talk to you about Marissa's life. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just a father asking about his daughter, right? And I am late for an appointment. Okay, wait. I don't, I don't want to keep you, but... Are you sure you're ready to be helping people at this time? After what happened? I've been through worse. I know. I remember. And I, uh... You were very helpful to me at that time. I'm very grateful to you for that. Well, I'm offering my help again. Why? David, why? What do you want? No, no agenda. Just a friend helping a friend. You always have an agenda. <laughs> You're right about that. And I do have some very big plans for this town, but not this time. My offer is genuine. Well, thanks. But I'm fine. I don't need any help. 